This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so the WBA, IBF, WBO and IBO Unified World Heavyweight Champion Alexander Usyk has now left the Ukraine and entered Poland to prepare for the Anthony Joshua rematch. And that is, of course, according to Boxing News Insider, Mike Coppinger, as per his sources. Now, Anthony Joshua, he put out a picture of himself wearing the Polska t-shirt, i.e. Poland, with a let's roll. Now, we could look at that and go, okay, well, maybe that is what's happened. Ultimately, how do we know? But a couple of days ago, the manager of Alexander Usyk, Klimas, he went in on Mike Coppinger when Mike Coppinger suggested that um, Usyk was even contemplating leaving Ukraine to go fight for or go defend his belts in the Anthony Joshua rematch. He told me to stay away from my fighters, all that kind of stuff. Fast forward a couple of days later, Mike Coppinger is saying that uh, Usyk is now in Poland. So which side do you believe? Now, Eddie Hearn, he said that because Vasyl Lomachenko, he was offered the same opportunity by the Ukraine ministers that they offered uh, Usyk, which is you can leave the war effort, go have your training camp uh, and go fight for the world titles. As in, Vasyl Lomachenko, he can go fight George Kambosis Jr. in Australia. Usyk, you can go fight Anthony Joshua in the rematch. Um, Vasyl Lomachenko declined to do that. He decided, you know what, I'm going to stay in Ukraine and help my country against the invasion of Russia. So Eddie Hearn, he believed that Usyk, because obviously he's very, very close with Vasyl Lomachenko, would do the exact same thing. So how would you look at that? How to look at that? If you are a Ukrainian citizen, how do you look at that? Because for quite some time, there was rumours that some Ukrainian people didn't really like Usyk anyway, because they felt he was always very pro-Russia. But So of course, when Russia invaded Ukraine, some people were suggesting that Usyk would have nothing to do with it, or maybe even side with Russia. They were very, very wrong on that one. Usyk defended or has been defending Ukraine against Russia. So he's proven that he is Ukrainian at heart. But if he now walks away, how are they going to feel about that? Now, you can look at it a couple of ways. Firstly, you could say, well, maybe it's good to give the country of Ukraine a morale boost. Something to look forward to. One of their own going to war, if you like, against Anthony Joshua. It's a mega fight. Something to look forward to. It's a good morale boost. Okay, the country is, of course, much needed of some morale boosting news. Um, the other way to look at it is they could look at him and go, coward. He left us. He deserted us. Doesn't matter whether or not he had the option. Well, he should have stayed and defended against Russia. We were right all along. He's very pro-Russia, all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, you could also look at it. If, if of course, he is leaving Ukraine or has left Ukraine, start training camp around for Joshua, you could look at it and say, well, while he was in Ukraine, defending Ukraine against Russia, how much of a role was he actually playing? Was he out there on the front line, running across battlefields, in and out of the city of Kiev, shooting um, Russians? Was he actually in the war? Was he at the thick of it? What was his role? Now, you would say, no, of course not. He's not military trained. He's not part of the army reserve, never has been. Or any of that kind of stuff. He's a civilian, is what he is. He's a professional boxer, of course. But being good at that doesn't mean that you're a good soldier. So what exactly was his role in, in all of it? Maybe Ozan Uzik can look at it and go, I'm not actually helping Ukraine. I'm not actually here defending Ukraine. Because obviously I'm not military trained. I'm not out there on the battlefields. I'm not doing any, anything like that. I feel surplus to requirements. Maybe I can help give the country a bit of a boost by giving them something to look forward to in this mega fight with Anthony Joshua. Maybe use that money and give it to Ukraine to help repair some of the damage that uh, the Russians have caused. Now, in time, we'll tell. We'll find out. I'm sure we'll find out maybe even, even over the next few hours if this news is true. Over, over the next couple of days, even. We don't know. But again, I suppose it's all down to the individual as to how you feel about it. And again, it's very easy for us sit, um, to sit on our couch in the comfort of our non-war-ridden country and go, well, I wouldn't leave. 
I'd be defending my country. And maybe you would. Maybe it would. It's very easy to say when you, you don't have missiles flying over your head, isn't it? But anyway, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. Find out if it's true or not. Maybe Anthony Joshua was wearing that Poland t-shirt for another reason. But what reason could that be? Marius Wack. Arthur Spilker. We don't know. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video.